All right, meanwhile, over the weekend, Chad and Will Greer held their third annual G7 football camp for quarterbacks and wide receivers. A number of participants were from right here in our area, while other athletes traveled from Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, and West Virginia to learn from the father-son duo that continues to display excellence on and off the football field. The goal for G7 is to share their passion and knowledge of the game to up-and-coming athletes while also helping shape them into leaders in the community. A foundation me and me and my dad started just really because we love the game. Um, obviously, he coaches here at, at Providence Day, and you know I'm from here. I played high school football here, um, so it means a lot for me to come give back to the community and and really like I I mean I'm not great at a lot of things, but I've played a lot of football. I know the game. I know football, and I like you know sharing that with the youth and trying to you know help them better, be the best them they can be. I'm really deliberate, and intentional about what we do with football, uh, how, why we do football, and how we do it. And I think it's about using it as a tool to reach kids. And if we can make a positive impact on some of these guys, there's so much pressure on teenagers today, and with social media, and you know acceptance and instant gratification. You know, football is not that. It's a it's a practice sport. You practice nine months out of the year to get to play maybe ten times. So it's really the life lessons and life skills you can develop through football. I think are unlike any other sports you can play. All right, hey, check this out. They had me out today to talk to the guys about dealing with folks like us, the media. Uh -huh. So I appreciate the Greers trusting me to do just that. But a great group of guys there. They were taking notes and asking questions, and all of them had so much uh, polite manners. I was like, wow, everyone said thank you. I said, you're excited to talk to the media already? Well, I'm happy That's to right. uh, hear about that. <laughs> keep that but, same energy. <laughs> right, keep right? that energy. But it was such a great thing to do, and, and it kind of came full circle for me. Uh, Coach Greer was the first interview I ever did when I started covering high school football here. And so, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, wow. It was a great moment. So and also, you know, proud. I was a, a teacher back in the day, so Miss Stroh got to come out mm -hmm. for just a minute there. Yeah.